everybody. Welcome back to another video. And today we are back for my monthly sporkle video. I finally got dark mode working in this browser, so hopefully this will be a little bit easier on the eyes compared to last time. So we're going to come through some of these sporkle quizzes and see how it goes. Up first, I noticed this state quiz, Washington. And, uh, well, I'm not sure how well I'll do here, but let's go. Uh, capital, that'll be Olympia. Largest city, Seattle. I also got Seattle Tacoma International Airport for largest airport. Second largest city, uh, probably Tacoma. Oh, Tacoma's third. Uh, is Vancouver in the top? That's the fourth largest. Uh, Olympia again, perhaps. No. I think it's seven, or is it eleven? Is it fewer than that? Maybe. Mountain ranges, we have the Rocky Mountains. Rocky Mountains. Okay. We have the Cascades. There we go. That's the mountain range and the National Park. We get Cascades. Uh, other National Parks, I guess St. Helens. soccer team, that will be the Sounders Women's National Basketball Association team, that's the Storm Major League Baseball team, that's the Mariners National Football League team, that's the Seahawks Flag background color, green uh, Evergreen State that's the nickname The largest institute of higher learning is probably University of Washington. Yep. The tallest building will be the Space Needle. Is that not the tallest building? Wow. Okay. Uh, the largest island is maybe the San Juan Islands. No. Okay. Now I have to start thinking. Uh, the largest city is Seattle. After uh, George Washington, President George Washington. There we go. Uh, motto: I'm Not sure. The Cascade Mountains. I could have sworn yeah, I wanted to beat the. Would be the. Um, wow, well, the the Rocky Mountains. But I, I guess they're not including that. Okay, number of representatives. Let's go. Let's start entering numbers, I guess, and we'll get that one eventually. Okay, ten representatives. Um, we have the North Cascades National Park. Other national parks. Maybe. Was it Tacoma, Vancouver, Seattle? I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, maybe. Spokane. Okay, Spokane's your second largest city. And your fifth largest city would be... Is it going to be Pullman? I don't think it's Pullman. Uh, it's not Bellingham. I don't think it'd be Bremerton. 
I don't know, date entered union, I'm not sure, number of state dinner union, I think we're the 48th state. We'll just do this, okay, we're the 42nd state entered the union. The highest point, I'm not sure, uh, maybe Mount Hood National Park, could that be one? We need to put the dot. sure. Uh, Demonym, is that just Washington? No. And fifth largest city, I'm not sure. I got 27 of 38. I think I'm done. Let's see. Oh, Washingtonian. Okay. Bellevue. Oh, I just typed it in wrong. Lake Shelland. Didn't know that. Whidbey Island. Okay. Mount Rainier. Pacific Ocean. Mount Rainier National Park, North Cascades Olympic National Park, Olympic Columbia Center, University of Washington, Alki, by and by. Never heard that before. Well, I got 27 of 38. I got 71%. And the average score is 59%, so I'm not that upset about it. Alright. What else do we have over here? In U.S. U.S. state by outline and flag. This is going to be pretty easy, I feel like. So I'm just going to skip this one and let's go on to the next thing that I have, uh, the next quiz I have loaded up here. And this is, can you name the bands given their most streamed songs on Spotify released in the 2000s? I think I can. A punk that is Vampire Weekend. Ain't no rest for the wicked. That's Cage the Elephant. All my friends, I'm actually not sure, but American Idiot, that's Green Day. Banquet, Beautiful Day, Break Even, Bring Me to Life, that's Evanescence. Chop Suey is um, System of a Down. System of a Down. Dear Maria, count me in. Is that the ready set? No. Uh, duality is Slipknot. Ugh, I know, Dear Maria, count me in too. That sucks so bad. But like, this is the era of music I grew up in, so I should be good. Uh, feel, feel Good Ink, that's Gorillas. Float On is Modest. Mouse. Fluorescent Adolescence, that's MGMT. Oh. That was kids. Oi, Florida, since uh, adolescence is Arctic Monkeys, isn't it? Yes, it's Arctic Monkeys. Uh, I hate to see I told you so. Heads will roll is uh, the yeah, yeah, yes. How to save a life is the fray. I miss you in the end. In the end is Lincoln Park. Uh, into Deep Island in the Sun, that's Weezer, my favorite band, and my favorite Weezer song. I write Sins Not Tragedies is Panic at the Disco. Last Night, not sure, Like a Stone, not sure, Misery Business it is Paramore. Mr. Brightside is of course The Killers, one of my favorite songs of all time. Knows, no one knows is um, Queens of the Stone Age. Queens of the Stone Age is no one knows. Ocean Avenue. Oh, I know that one too. I just can't think of it. One more time is Daft Punk. Rock and Roll Train Schism. Secret Seven Nation Army is The White Stripes. Sex on Fire is Kings of Leon. Snow AO, that is Red Hot. Chili Peppers, Sugar Going Down is Fallout Boy, of course. Take Me Out, that's Franz Ferdinand. The Kill, that's 30 Seconds to Mars. Uh, the Middle. Is Foo Fighters. The scientist is Coldplay. This love upright.
surprising. Wake up is, um, oh, wake up is, oh my god, it's, I love this song. It's like one of my favorite, oh, I have to come back to that one, okay. This love, oops, uh, this love is Maroon 5. Uprising, wake up, weird fishes, welcome to the black parade is my chemical romance. Okay. Wake up. It was in, uh, that, uh, where the wild things are movie. It literally always makes me cry when I hear this song. Uh, wake up, wake up. It's, it's, I know it. Uh, it has like the, the cover is like it's like a brown I'm picturing it right now it's like a brown cover with a quill like a feather quill on it and it's god I'm, I'm actually like getting upset with myself that I can't remember it's like one of my favorite songs it has the feather it's brown <laughs> Arcade Fire. Arcade Fire. Arcade Fire. That's what it is. Uh, is are the black keys on here? The black keys. That's your touch. Okay. Now I'm just trying to think of like 2000s bands. Um, All My Friends, Banquet, Beautiful Day, Break Even. Dear Maria, count me in. I know that's like, uh, I used to listen to that song, but I can't remember it. I miss you. Last night, like a stone, me kind of Ocean Avenue. I know Ocean Avenue too. The middle. Okay, I'm just going to give up on this. Wait, is one of these Jimmy World? Yes, the middle. Okay, 32 out of 50. Which did I miss? Block party. Yeah, let's see. I want to see. Dear Mary Kevin, all time low. All time low, okay, a perfect circle. Audio slave, fleet foxes, and where is um where is yeah Ocean Avenue's yellow card. Yellow card, okay. So I got thirty two out of fifteen, that's sixty four percent. The average is forty and seven, so I'm not too off on that. Not too off. Um, dang, I wish there's more artists by popular Spotify songs, One Direction songs, The Beatles albums, Men of Pop, at first three letters, Song of Time. I'm just trying. To, wow, that's like the number one. That's kind of funny. K pop, 90s rock songs by first five words. Okay. Out of that. What is this? Can you click the regions of the US that are nearest to each world capital without making a mistake? I can try. Majuro. Majuro. Here. Instantly wrong. Cool. We'll replay that one. Washington, D.C. Well, it's over. <clears throat> okay. Nassau. That's going to be over here. Yep. Tokyo. Be up here. All right, well, I'm done with that one. <laughs> um, first letter, U.S. state capitals, U.S. states, I'm terrible with geography. We know this. Popular. Okay. Can you pick the food term that is not part of the given category? Careful, it might be the hidden answer. Okay, I can certainly try. Vegetable, potato, beet, broccoli, or blank. A uh, potato is not a vegetable, it's a root. Wine, Kahlua, uh, Kahlua is not a wine. Spice, mushroom is not a spice. Salad, Caesar, gazpacho, cob. I don't think gazpacho is a salad. 
It's like a soup. Fruit, pear, pineapple, turnip. Turnip is a vegetable. Vegetable, macadamia, that's not a vegetable. Bread. Chala bread. Might be this one. Cutting a technique. Those are all cutting techniques. I'm going to go with the blank one. Seafood dish. Now I don't eat seafood, so I'm going to pick that. Japanese dish. I think Peking duck is Chinese. Vegan dish. Well, cheeseburgers are not vegan. Fruit. I think a kumquat's a fruit. Culinary nut. Okay. Cheese. Prosciutto, cheddar, gruyere. Those are all cheeses. And a pasta, polenta, spaghetti, and fettuccine. It's going to be the blank. I got 11 out of 15 correct. Dang, what should I get wrong? It's not going to tell me, is it? That sucks. I like these ones, though. Let's go ahead and odd one out Harry Potter and see what this one's all about. Horcrux. Sort of Gryffindors, not Horcrux. Quidditch player. Hermione did not play Quidditch. Death Eater. Umbridge was not a Death Eater. Broomstick. I don't think the lightning was a broomstick. Hogwarts head of house. She was the Hufflepuff head of house. Gryffindor head of house. Ravenclaw head of house. Dumbledore's army member. Marietta Edgecombe. I'm just gonna guess there. Ghost. Yep. The blank one. House Elf, Dobby, Hokey, Winky. I don't think Hokey was a house elf. I don't think that's a real character. Diagon Alley Businesses. The Three Broomsticks. Isn't that in Hogsmeade? I think Hogsmeade has the Three Broomsticks and the Hog's Head. So Diagon Alley Businesses, the Three Broomsticks. Muggle. Mrs. Fig was a squib, so I don't think they're going to count that. So Fig was a squib. Animagus, I don't think Dumbledore was an Animagus. Yeah, I don't believe he was. Triwizard Champion, Cho Chang was not. Wizarding School, Amberta Cadabra College is not. Hagrid's Bet, Hedwig was Harry's Bet. Ministry official. They're all ministry officials. 13 out of 15. Alright. So I only missed two. I'm alright with that. Uh, average score of 66%. I got 87%. So I'm cool with that. It did not one out holidays. Let's so just go to this old playlist and see actors, movies, albums, anagrams, animals, authors, band members, board games, Broadway, capitals. Let's go with Disney and see what this is all about. Pinocchio. Aurora is not in Pinocchio. Frozen. They're all in Frozen. Beauty and the Beast. Cruella de Vil is not in Beauty and the Beast. Little Mermaid. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Dog Dopey. Professor Radigan. I don't think that's the case. Alice in Wonderland. Those are all there. Bambi. Flower Thumper. Miss Bianca. I don't think Miss Bianca is in Bambi. Uh, Mulan Stitch is not in Mulan. Dangled. Don't think Zeus is in Dangled. Cinderella. Piglet. No. Aladdin. Yago Jasmine. Captain Hook is not in Aladdin. Robin Hood. Those are all in Robin Hood. Very underrated Disney movie, by the way. Jungle Book. Captain John Smith is not in it. The Lion King. Rafiki Demon Simba. We get 14 out of 15. Wow, that is the average score. So I'm actually, I'm all right with that. Not quite all right with that. 93%, 14 out of 15. That is the average score, though. Interesting. True or false of Blitz movies. Let's give it a chance. Let's see. Can you decide whether each team has true or false in two minutes? Film stars Meryl Streep has no children. True. Disney, Shere Khan is a snake, Shere Khan is a tiger. 
Holy Glidey was the name of Audrey Hepburn's character in My Fair Lady. I don't know. For me go false. Live and Let Die was released before Goldfinger. False. In Star Wars, Princess Leia's home planet is Hoth. False. It's all drawn. Ursula's character, Little Mermaid. True. It's in the group tree. Just one is based on the sea. True. Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Jack, is called Jack. True. John Ford, Jack Dark Green is My Valley. True. The word of Bollywood is the company source of Bengali in Hollywood. True. A film from Poland has won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. False. Hammer Film Productions is based in Toronto. False. I think it's based in Michigan. Robert De Niro and Oscar for Raging Bull. True. Jeff Lawrence played Storm in the X-Men films. False. Rodolfo Valentino was aged under 25 when he died. I think that's true. Kate Blanchett was in all three films of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. True. John Wayne turned a fistful of dollars. False. Sergio Leone was born in the USA. False. He was born in Italy. The famous Odessa step sequence, which featured a baby in a carriage on down, was taken from the film Battleship Potemkin. True. A lot of movies are homage to the Battleship of Potemkin. I got 15 out of 20, so I got 75%. The average is 65%, so I will take that. I'll take it. What is this? Only one winning three space tic tac toe sequence contains three two statements. Can you enter the three digits of the winning sequence? Tic tac trivia MCU films. Let's see how it goes. Paul Bart, Paul Bettany portrays both Vision and the voice of Jarvis. Stormbreaker was forged by Heimdall and Missile Incorrect. Nick Fury appears in both Black Panther and Infinity War. I don't think that's correct. Stanley did not have a cameo in Spider-Man Homecoming. Incorrect. Cassilius is a villain appearing in Man the Wasp. Incorrect. Kit Marvel in the year 1995. I think that's correct. Do you have any Did you have about actual scenes for Virginia Gronkowski was released before Ant-Man? That's correct. Seven. Okay, I think... Um, I, th I think one is correct. Oh, I see. So one is correct. Must be tic tac toe. Okay, I guess it's three, six, nine. Incorrect. Wow. Okay, so six and nine are correct. Virginia, or is it seven eight nine? Then I think it might be seven eight nine. Seven eight nine. Yes. Okay. So one was true. Okay. Then also one and six were true. Okay. So seven eight nine were true. I thought that only the three true, the, the only answers that were true would be the correct ones, but I see that um, there's actually multiple <laughs> correct answers there. So kind of interesting. Uh, let's do U.S. Presidents. Only one winning three space tic tac toe sequence contains three true statements. Alright, let's see. The last person to admit a new state of the union is Dwight Eisenhower. Four of the first eight presidents were named James. President John Adams was the grandfather of President John Quincy Adams. The shortest presidential term is W. H. Harrison, serving around 32 days. Incorrect. President Pierce, Fillmore, and Polk all serve for Abraham Lincoln. Incorrect. Bill Clinton was president of the USSR dissolved. Incorrect. The youngest ever is president was in JFK, age 43. That's correct. Jimmy Carter and Harry Truman are both Democrats. That is correct. Harry Herbert Hoover is exactly one term. That's also correct. So, so ooh. Oh, Teddy Roosevelt was 42. I thought it was JFK, age 43. Okay, so 8 and 9 are correct. Let me answer something else. Okay, I'm going to go one more time. Oh, well, I can't. Pierce. I don't think. I think Polk. I don't think they were before. But maybe it's 159. I just. It could be 159. Wow. Okay. I, just, I could have sworn that Abraham Lincoln was before them, but. Alright. 
uh, elements, animals, borders, Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, North America, vocabulary, 1990s, 2000s, what if we go 1990s movies, this could be interesting. Weezer albums. I bet I could. 
if I just type in Weezer, I get like three. <laughs> I get six if I just type in Weezer. That's funny. <clears throat> Van Weezer. Um, Pinkerton. Um, this is fucked up. But, ooh, I try to swear in these videos, but this is messed up because like Weezer is my favorite band. But now I can't think of like any of the uh, early, okay, early, which is funny, you have blue, green, red, white, teal, black, all just by typing in Weezer, uh, Pinkerton, early, I'm trying to think of the ones that aren't just, uh, because, I mean, blue and green are my favorite Weezer albums, of course, uh, Thanks.